I couldn't see, I was so lost. Infinite crystals. Oh, do you see the fishies? Wow. So today is day 9 of our Tokyo Japan vlog. Today is our last full day here in Tokyo and today we have planned to go to Team Lab Planet in Tokyo. We just got off the Shintoyosu station and we're waiting in line. Mission starts at 9 a.m. but this is our last pretty much attraction for the trip. Anyways, this was a mess up because I initially booked this on the first day we came here but then I totally forgot the whole time zone difference and you know we weren't able to salvage that ticket so we had to rebook it for a different day but it's okay are you excited I'm excited what are you excited for just to see the exhibits and stuff it should be fun yeah for me I've seen everywhere on social media like on Instagram on reels like the lights the starry lights I think that looked really pretty and I'm really excited to show everyone what it looks like We just walked in and they want us to stop at the footprint in front of us. Welcome to Team Lab Planets Tokyo. Your feet will get wet in some spaces. Please take off your socks and tights in the locker area. In some areas, water depths are knee deep. Please use the changing rooms in the locker area. So the 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 I would have always known with your so they don't let you take any of your purses, so it's annoying. They make you take off your shoes, and you have the option to rent shorts. And there's water, so they made us take off our socks and go bare feet. <laughs> I hear the water. Wow. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is the iconic shot that I saw everyone film. <gasps> crystals it's like I see this room everywhere on social media so it's nice to be able to actually see it feel it how do you feel oh, I feel good the mirror. I think it's back the way we came. Oh my god, I couldn't... Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I couldn't see, I was so <laughs> lost. So how'd you feel about the last exhibit? It started... Ooh, went down. Okay, um, it started getting really confusing. Like trippy, right? Trippy, yeah. I couldn't tell where was the road. How about you? Uh, it was like a little teeny maze. So this section, they told us to roll up our pants to knee level because it's filled with water. Again. It's warm. It's warm. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's like a tiny sauna room, but with rainbows. Oh, do you see the fishies? Wow. Yeah. I like it that it's warm. It makes your feet feel good. If it was cold, it would be awful. Oh yeah, for sure. I wonder if people actually come swimming here. Yeah, swim with the rainbow fishies. Oh, look, that's blue and orange koi. Yeah. Mm. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I think it looks better on the GoPro. Oh, oh yeah. How do you feel, huh? This is so way more immersive than like Bubble World. It's definitely, yeah, this one is water and you gotta feel with your feet. I'm gonna chase the blue one. Hey, hey where'd it go? It's behind you. Wow, did I catch you? Oh. Well, it's oh. <laughs> Ooh, giant balls. I love big balls. Wow, why are we always seeing so many big balls? <laughs> I think people have a fascination with big balls. Yeah, I do too. Ooh. If you push, it changes color. 
floating in the falling universe of flowers. So they want us to sit towards the center of this artwork space. Go towards the center. I like that we're the only people here. Okay, so we're going to the garden area. We're still shoeless. Gotta wear slippers. Ooh, it's chilly. Ooh. So what do you think these uh, giant beans are? They're obviously alien eggs. Ooh. Hello. Immerse yourself in flowers. Become one with the garden. So there's an elevator. Ooh, it's so cold. My feet so cold. Wow. I'm so glad we come early so there's not too many people. Wow, those are orchids. Oh, now only some of them are moving. Oh, they're going up and down. So it goes up as we are crawling. Shall we stand? Let's stand. Yeah, that's going up. Wow. I'm in this tropical orchid of flowers. Posing behind you. So we just finished the Team Labs experience, put on our shoes, and wow, it was so cool. I've never been to an exhibition this immersive. At first with the whole, you know, like pull up your pants because of the whole water thing, I was kind of, uh, you know, but it was worth it because the water made the bodily sensations and feelings feel much more surreal. And my favorite was probably actually the koi water pond because I thought that was really special. I haven't seen that before. Oh, the garden thing on the outside was pretty cool too. I liked how that the flowers move up and down depending on like how tall you were um, standing and whatnot. What was your favorite exhibition? I think I liked the, the fish. The fish one. Pond, yeah, that was pretty cool. One thing we would recommend is to come as early as possible, probably opening time at 9 or if possible you have to wait in line before 9 because now it's 9.30 and there's just so many more people now and I think with more people it definitely yeah, ruins the experience because then you know you can't truly immerse yourself in that so yeah try to come as early as possible. Any other tips? Wear pants, you know. Oh yeah, Otherwise, wear pants. Otherwise you'll see your butt crack. Oh yeah, true fun. because there's like reflecting mirrors on the bottom. I wish they told us in advance but I didn't get a, any notification or anything to wear pants so it's okay they do let you rent out pants for if you free. Need it. yeah for free if you need it we just arrived at a Starbucks in Odaiba and we're in the Tokyo Diver City Mall. So of course when in Japan you have to eat and drink matcha. So this is a pistachio melty matcha. So different. Let's see. Wow. It's like pistachio and matcha and the mocha. Oh my god. And then this is a matcha chiffon cake. I love cakes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It already looks so soft and fluffy. Mm, yeah, so creamy. I like this not sweet. So good. As mentioned earlier, we are at the Diver City Tokyo Mall. And do you know what Gundam is? Yeah. Yeah. It's like an anime. Yeah. There's a giant Gundam statue. Look at it. Wow. So I have a little story to tell you guys. You know, I met Steven, my amazing husband, on an online dating app called Coffee Meets Vago. And funny thing is, when I was looking at his dating profile pictures, he had a picture of Gundam. I just thought it was really weird was that he just had a picture of Gundam, but there was no face. And in my mind, I'm just thinking, why even put a picture if you're not gonna be in it? It's like part of the whole thing is, I wanna see your physique, I wanna see your face, you know? how cute or hot you are or ugly but anyway <laughs> yeah he took this photo here it was a different Gundam the one that was on the profile was like a, a blue Gundam this one's like a white Gundam too. Uh, I see I see in my mind too when I first saw it I was like oh he's probably a weeb because <laughs> you know only weebs are into like these robotic <laughs> anime stuff like this but, so am I a weeb honey I mean you're okay <laughs> you, you've been better since better <laughs> dating me I guess but, um, I am a professional gardener, okay? <laughs> Anyways, that is our little love story to share with y'all. So why did you like my profile? <laughs> well, I thought you had a 
very good outlook in terms of your prospect of jobs and life. And I read your description, and you seemed very wholesome. You know, you like Zumba, you like gardening, oh, you yeah. like. Little cats, rat. You know, it's just like okay, I'll give you a shot, and uh -huh. yeah, here we are. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Two years later, and we are married. Yay. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> this is our second honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> our friend Andrew loves Chansey, and we found a Chansey chain. So we're gonna test our luck and see how it is. Let's go. It's all these Pokemon. Hopefully, we'll get the chancy. No. Oh, <gasps> oh, <we got> <laughs> oh Guys, oh my god. Wow. Got him, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> we lucky duckies. I want So hey this is day 10 of our Japan series vlogs. Yep. Last day, we're currently sitting at the Hanada airport waiting to catch our flight back to LAX. Mm -hmm. So how was your trip? It was really good. I am amazed by all the things that we have done and I can't wait to, I guess, yeah, like talk more about it in detail mm -hmm. in future videos. Yeah, because you have a lot of uh, unique experiences or uh, I guess perspectives now that you've actually been here. Do you guys have any questions or suggestions on what I should talk? Or, I mean, yeah. you're gonna come out with like a, a video with all the clothes we got here because mm, you really haul. like the style. Yes, this jacket is yeah. one of the clothes <laughs> I picked clothes, up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then like the whole train system, Suica card, and mm, all that stuff. Right. And how we were using uh, the eSIM in order to get around and whatnot. Mm -hmm. so. So this is how you use a Suka card. You can pull it up on your Apple wallet and you basically double tap and hold it near the reader. Yeah, let us know if you guys have any specific questions you want to know or experiences. All right. All right. See you guys later. Yeah, see you.